A locked room murder mystery, 47. I trust you'll get to the bottom of this. Why don't you use your camera to scan the dead body, 47? Throat markings indicate a rare, short-lived plant poison killed him. Spread shows time of death at around 10 o'clock last night. You do know your poisons, 47. Zachary was shopping for New Wellingtons last night. Not exactly what you would expect from someone suicidal. Zachary's suicide note. Also, a sample of handwriting. It could be relevant to compare to other samples to establish its authenticity. A hidden door. It's a secret passage. This could explain how the door was locked from the inside. Hmm. A photocopy of the floor plans. Somebody's been researching the secret ins and outs of Thornbridge Manor. I believe you've done a thorough search of the crime scene, 47. Maybe it's time to see the butler. I'm curious about the information he's prepared for you. Mr. Fernsby, I'm done with the crime scene. Did you establish a time of death? Zachary died around 10 o'clock last night. Well, that means the staff were off duty. And Madame Carlyle and her security didn't arrive until this morning. That leaves Madame's family and myself as the only persons here when he died. And before you ask, no, I do not have an alibi. I was alone in my office at the time of death. Here is the material that I prepared for you. It's a list of the possible suspects and their quarters. Hopefully that will help you keep track of your findings. Please come and see me when you've solved the case, and I will take you to Madame Carlyle. So how does one solve a murder mystery, 47? Motive, means, and opportunity, I believe. May I suggest you ask the suspects for alibis? Or perhaps you prefer searching the manor for clues first? That is the door to Rebecca's room. That door leads to Emma and Gregory's room. My parents would hate him. I should get back to... Right, yeah. You like, um, reading? An old letter, 47. Never opened. Must have slid under the secret door nearly 46 years ago. It states that Alexa Carlyle's older brother, Montgomery, wanted Alexa to become the heir to the Carlyle Empire instead of himself. Hmm. Interesting. You're an excellent detective, 47. Uncovering truths half a century old. If you frame it correctly, I believe you could use the information to convince Madame Carlyle that Zachary twice. committed suicide. Maybe you should ask Mr. Fernsby to see her. Or perhaps you feel like digging a bit more. What is this? Why 
everybody fucking knew here. I'm serious. I have everything under control. I am ready to present my conclusion to Madame Carlyle. Very well. If you'll follow me, sir. Right there. This is Madame Carlyle's office. Please step inside. So, Mr. Whitmer, you've reached a conclusion. Take a seat. Please, go ahead. Your brother committed suicide. I need to see some evidence to believe that, Mr. Whitmer. Zachary was found dead in a room locked from the inside. He died from a rare poisonous plant he cultivated himself. He believed you were dead. And a suicide note explained that he did not have the courage to go on without you. That's what I don't buy. I cared for him deeply, but the truth is he hated my guts. My death would not make him commit suicide, I can promise you that. Perhaps the death of your older brother, Montgomery, then. I have found evidence showing that you and Zachary killed him nearly 50 years ago. I believe that was when Zachary turned recluse. Your brother recently uncovered proof that your past deeds were for nothing. A letter from Montgomery stating that he wanted you, Madame Carlyle, to take over from your father instead of himself, as you were better suited to the job. Everything would have turned out the way you wanted without anyone dying. What broke Zachary once now destroyed him. And you saw this letter? I did. Oh, Zachary. How royally I fucked up. Mr. Whitmer, I'm sorry, I, 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 I just need to gather my thoughts. Right, the payment for your services, have you decided on an amount? Arthur Edwards, you have a file on him. Arthur Edwards, how do you? I see, well played. For many, many years, I feared what I'd see when I finally met death. And now you sit before me, and I feel only peace. You see, I believe life is a fair fight, and I lost spectacularly in every way imaginable. It is time for me to leave the pit. Oh, before I get to that, your reward. The file you want is in the safe. A last wish from a dying woman. Get Edwards and make him suffer. So long. I need some privacy. Thank you. Good work, 47. That's the file on Arthur Edwards secured. Time to take care of Madame Carlyle. Mission...